of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the Long Rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. Our fathers and their fathers before them hunted the deer and fought the enemy in our land. They were warriors, not scratches of the earth. Are we squaws who plant seed and watch corn grow? Our young braves grow restless, holding plows in their hand instead of weapons as befits them. There has been enough of war and bloodshed, Red Wing. Our people are happy and prosperous with the fruits of their toil. A serpent has been placed in your heart by the white man, Kilbuck. I will ask Manny, too, to remove it. Oh, spirit of our fathers, heed me. It is written. Evil will fall upon Kilbuck unless he listens to counsel of medicine man. What else is written in powder smoke, ancient one? Red Wing see future of broken promises. The white general spoke of payment for our land. The time has come, but no payment. We have word that it is on its way. Hawkeye is bringing it. No white man more trustworthy than Hawkeye. It will not arrive. This Red Wing can foresee. You try my patience, medicine man. Your desire to hold to ancient ways can be fulfilled only by ignorance. But we have abandoned ignorance. My people shall move forward and shed the fears of our ancestors. We shall learn new ways from our white brothers. New ways of evil, my eager young chief. Snowbird. Snowbird, she is gone. Gone? Does my daughter's nurse sleep when it is her duty to guard? She's so quick, she must have darted into the forest while I was cooking. Have every brave searched the woods. She must be found before the sun sleeps. Carry heavy packs. Make me feel like donkey. Now you couldn't be. Your ears are too long. <laughs> We both feel better after deliver wampum to Turtle Tribe. And those bushwhackers are running like a couple of scared rabbits. Arrow could be of Turtle Tribe. Hurons and turtles feather their arrows the same way. They're after this wampum belongs to Chief Kilbuck and the Turtle Tribe anyway. We'd better keep our eyes open. <laughs> and me keep the gears open. So we are, Snowbird. But you kind of spooked us, sneaking up on us so quiet, like. You ought to know better than to be walking around these woods all by yourself. I... I want to surprise you. You sure did. We got a surprise for you. Is she... she for me? Well, I don't see any other little girls around here. you were complaining about being a pack horse. <laughs> light heart of papoose make everything seem light to me. My braves search forest for snowbird, but it is good omen that my friends Hawkeye and Chingachgook found her and brought her home. <laughs> she is smart papoose. She find us, we not find her. Couldn't ask for a better welcoming committee. 
see what Hawkeye gave me? A wonderful gift, little one. See to my daughter, and do not be careless again. I want Hawkeye to tell me stories of the White Village. Well, maybe you'd better give your dolly a little rest first. She's had a long journey. Oh, I will. We will eat and sleep together. Well, Kilbuck, there's the wampum that General Brooks sent you for your people. Kilbuck knew you, keep word. Though some had vision, you'd not come back. Might have been more than just a vision if this had found its mark. Medicine man, can your magic reveal owner of this arrow? Many warriors lose arrows when forget ways of father. My teepee is yours. Kilbuck will be displeased if I remain away from Snowbird. The spirits the medicine man talks to will be even more angry. Come closer to the flame. What do you want of me, medicine man? It is not I. It is Manitou. The crackle of the flames is his voice warning that you shall wither and die if you do not heed me. But I will. I will heed you. Then listen to me, Doskin. Listen carefully. You have been chosen to save your people from the curse of the white man. Don't be alarmed, Doskin. It is but a mild potion, known only to medicine men of ancient knowledge. But its magic will gain the favor of Manitou for you. Take it. How does this magic work, wise one? Snowbird is much smitten with Doll of Hawkeye. But it is Doll of Evil. This potion will protect her from it. Blood of Hawkeye, flow in my veins. What Hawkeye promised, I promise. Our white man's promise is different now, because honey dripped from tongue of Hawkeye and Chingachgook. The pale-faced steal our hunting grounds. We lean like squaws to the plow, instead of holding rifles like true braves. There are braves who stir to tales of warpath, but they are few. I give you my word, peace with your people will be kept. Medicine of Red Wing, only real medicine. Many to guide me on my path. Evil shall come to our tribe. Ah! Snowbird, she's ill. The spirits have possessed her. Come quickly. Snowbird. Snowbird, speak. It is your father. Speak. What is wrong with her? What white man touches evil? Evil has gone from doll to snowbird. Well, that's the first time I ever saw a little girl get sick from holding a doll in her arms. A white man must be driven from hunting ground, or snowbird will surely die. So will whole tribe. Hawkeye must leave. Then Red Wing can use great medicine given him by Manitou. All right, Red Wing, I'm leaving. So go ahead with your mumbo jumbo. But just in case your Manitou doesn't have the right medicine, I'm coming back with a white doctor. Or pale face in village mean only death to Snowbird. Get Dr. Hawkeye his right way. White man has big medicine. Go quickly! Does Red Wing dare match skills with the white medicine man? There is only one doctor in Paleface Village. Only one arrow is needed to stop him coming here. This time, do not fail. Remember, Squaw, do not speak, or Manitou will put curse on you forever. Clock. 
day and night. People are falling off wagons, women are birthing babies, chilling, cracking their heads, and every last one of them are yelling for old Doc Brady. That Hippocratic Oath that you doctors are so proud of. Don't say what kind of patients you're supposed to take care of, or is it just a lot of words? I knew it. Too many people are learning to read. Every last one of them ready to throw that oath up in my face. There ain't no doctor I can call in when, when I got the miseries. Oh, what are we waiting for? And she's sick as you say she is, we ain't got no time to lose. Bring my bag. dead. Someone sure didn't want the doc to get to the village. Well, what we do now, with no doctor to take care of little Indian princess. Come on, Chingachgook. Oh, Chief say we must bring doctor, not medicine bag. I know, but maybe if I can talk fast enough, we can trade this bag for enough time to find out what's really behind this. When Moon sleeps, Snowbird will join ancestors, unless... Unless Hawkeye arrives soon with White Doctor. Do you place such value on white man's medicine? Why then do you seek counsel of Red Wing? Because my daughter lies near death. My heart is heavy, and you oppose me. Why can you not advise me now, as you did when I was a boy, as you advised my father before me? I have advised you, Killbuck. Your path is clear. But you persist in ways of white men. My heart tells me I am right, that we can learn much from them. Does your heart tell you Snowbird will live? When White Doctor comes. My chief. White Doctor will not come, Kilbuck. Promises of paleface are but feathers in the wind. Hawkeye will not disappoint me. Hawkeye, just like others. Let us exchange plows for rifles. Let us follow vision of Manitou. Let us do this, and Snowbird will live. We will wait until moon rises. If Hawkeye has not returned with Doctor, we shall then consider your vision, Red Wing. My Doctor will not come. Black Fox will make worthy war chief. Time to drink again. Come, my child, drink. Wait! No more. Give me the medicine. Snowbird will get well. Oh, thank the Great Spirit. My heart has been tortured. If you speak of this ever, your heart will shrivel and die. <laughs> has courage to return without the white doctor. Fools sometimes appear brave. I'll see him burn at the stake before another sun. The doctor, he follow on the trail? I'm afraid not, Chief. You make promise, Hawkeye. Well, he couldn't come. He told us what to do, though. Red Wing's vision was right. He said, doctor, not come. Feed her pure broth. It will bring her strength back quickly. Here. No. No, I cannot. You, you said... Foolish woman, do as I order. Feed her. White doctor send medicine bag with Hawkeye to cure little Indian princess. Never again will Kilbuck turn his back on the ancient wisdom of his own people. You can't mean that, Kilbuck. You and your people have prospered plenty since you've overcome the ancient superstitions and lived in peace with the white man. If Snowbird die, Hawkeye, there'll be no peace for me again. If she dies, it's because you let an evil old medicine man have his way. Kilbuck gave Hawkeye way. 
No bring doctor. He just couldn't come. He had other patients to take care of. But he sent his medicine bag to help Snowbird with it. Chingachgook and I can get her better if you'll just give us a chance. Hawkeye speaks with straight tongue. <laughs> Hawkeye is good doctor. Cure me from Tommyhawk wound in head. Fix wound, not say medicine need for Snowbird. Give us a chance, Killbuck. I'll stake my life on being able to help her. Come. Snowbird grows worse. White men return have brought evil again. Hawkeye bring white doctor's medicine. Hawkeye speak with serpent's tongue. White doctor dead. Medicine die with him. You're just full of visions, aren't you, Red Wing? Red Wing see what Manitou reveal. Maybe Red Wing see arrow pierce heart of white doctor. Maybe a Red Wing helped get it there. Snowbird dies, you listen to forked tongue of Hawkeye. Perhaps I have been listening to tongue of Viper. Stay, Hawkeye. Help my daughter. Use whatever skill you have to make her well. Leave now. Come, woman. No. Let prophecy come no. true. Let pale face kill daughter of our chief. Wait. She's the child's nurse. She can help us. So be it. Red Wing's vision is known to tribe. If Snowbird not well before sun rises, I cannot answer for your safety. How can Squaw help if we know not what to do to help little princess? What are you called, woman? Doeskin. Does Doeskin love the chief's daughter? <laughs> like own papoose. Then it couldn't be your love and care that's making her sick. Or could it? I, the doll, it cast a spell. Red Wing's a mighty powerful talker. If I hadn't seen that doll made, he might have convinced me. What evil was in this bowl? Has anyone else been feeding her side you? No one. Why not tell? I will wither and die. Who say you wither and die? She talked like under spell. Now, Red Wing's the only one around here who's casting spells. Is that right, Doskin? What you have there? Red Wing said it not harm her. But now... <laughs> what is it, Chingachgook? I remember. I smell and taste this long time ago. Think. Try and remember. Move among the tribe. Tell them when the child dies, their lances will taste the blood of the Paleface. What if she lives? The Paleface will be rewarded for saving her. She will not live. Red Wing's medicine will do its work. Now go. When Black Fox, Chief, he will remember to beware the visions of Red Wing. You will do well to remember, young one. Or you too, like Killbuck, will be strung up by your thumbs and pierced by the arrows of your tribesmen. The penalty of not heeding the warning of an old medicine man. It was long time ago, when I visit tribes in South. They have strange drug. It is made from bark of yerba tree, very strong. How much powder you give her? I... Tell me! Red Wing, give whole pouch! Whole pouch? That old man's done his evil work. His prophecy's liable to come true. We only knew the antidote. What is this word, antidote, my brother? Well, it means something that would take the poison out of her. Well, me once have antidote. Doctor, give to me much hot water and medicine. Maybe in bag. Bring us some water. The pale face has failed us. Give the order, my chief and he shall know the wrath of the turtle tribe. Our chief fails us. His love for the pale face is still strong. Let the blood dance begin. <laughs> She will drink no more. The evil spirit still possesses her. Turtle tribe start blood dance. Soon come for scout. Is it? 
His medicine doctor give me. Save life. Okay. You've got to play for time. Give her some of it in the hot water. Can't hurt her, and it's worth trying. And you, my brother. I'm going out there and try to calm down that storm that's brewing. Sort of a delay in action. <laughs> You die! Seize him! Seize him! Climb to the stake. Your evil doll will burn with you, Hawker. Kill Buck. Just a little more time, Kill Buck. Snowbird still has a chance. Flame! Bring the flame! Wait! Young princess, live. Be well soon. My medicine makes Snowbird well. Killbuck must keep promise. Red Wing not tell truth. He made my broth taste bad. That's why I so sick. Doveskin told me. It is true, my chief. This evil one would kill your daughter. I tell you, Squaw, keep mouth shut. I cast spell on you. turned a little girl's doll into an instrument of justice. The pale face has killed Red Wing. He must die. <laughs> Take him away. Council will decide fate. Try to find it in your heart to forgive me, my friend, forever doubting your word or wisdom. Akayu and Chingichgook will always be welcome in TP of Kilbuck. Thanks, Kilbuck. Maybe we'll drop back next fall and try some of your roasting corn. See how little snowbird's getting along. Hawkeye. Goodbye. Goodbye. And you too, Chingachgook. Snowbird always remember you for making doll well again. Oh, little princess and doll both well now. May Manitou keep it that way, forever. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. <laughs>